Okay, what are your four areas we're going to talk about in feng shui this month for January? Are the two good ones I want you to use more and the two I want you to kind of stay away from? All right, so I know there's eight directions, but we can't talk about them all. We need quick focus here. The two areas in your home and your office, your business, your location that I want you to use more of if you can is, drum roll please, uh, the Northwest. The Northwest is the first area. And remember, all you've got to do is get a regular compass, uh, an iPhone. It doesn't matter. Just work out where north, south, east, west is in your location and then mark that down. So the northwest, this is really good for clarity of thought. The energy that's cultivated in the northwest this, this month will help you make decisions with clear focus. So a bit of a focus thing there. It's a little bit, um, I'm not going to say academic, it's just... A little bit of wisdom in there, a little bit of clarity of thought. So decision making will be easier because you'll have the facts at hand. So use the Northwest to make phone calls, put your laptop there and work. And just know that that's month energy for the month. Okay, I don't know your function of your house. so I can't speak to that. I can only speak to the energy of the month. Now, second place that I want you to use more of if you can is the South. Now, this one has an energy and I love some of the Chinese terms associated with this. This one's called birth of intelligent sun. What that means in the feng shui is using the south area of your home will help you cultivate new ideas. So if you're creating um, or if you're, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Incubating, right? A startup, you're actually in that process of putting all together, getting your ideas out, maybe talking with other people, collaborating, like, can we do this? Is this idea viable? The south area this month is, is an energy that's going to help you create that and build that. So again, use that for meetings, for phone calls, for making notes, for making plans. Just that's the energy that's there. So the way I want you to look at this when I share energies of the month and how to use them is think of it like you're walking downtown for the day and you've got your book and you want to read it in a quiet place. And you walk downtown and there's a disco um, on one side of the street. Man, I'm, I'm aging myself here. There's a nightclub on one side of the street and there's a library on the other and you want to read a book quietly. Which one are you going to go to? Ah, the library, right? It's understanding how the environment affects you and that's what feng shui is. So this monthly energy I'm talking about is there only for the 30, 31 days, but it's there. So tap into it. It's feng shui Wi-Fi and it's yours for the taking. Now, I've given you two areas to use most if you can. How about two areas I want you to avoid? <laughs> if we have a yang, we have to have a yin. So the north, well, the north is a very tricky area to use this month because it will cultivate obsessive tendencies, obsessive thinking. So this can be overthinking, you know, overanalyzing details, worrying. Um, if you have any habits that aren't so great, you know, alcohol or any kind of an addiction, the north is going to bring that to the surface and just encourage you to go full force on it so avoid that area it's not a healthy area this month the second one is the east um this is just a very argumentative area so avoid it because you're probably going to end up in an argument doesn't matter how good your case is how good your discussion points are the energy is in flux it doesn't like it there in the east this month and the potential for legal entanglements is there. So you just want to avoid that altogether. All right. So you've got two good ones. You've got two not so good ones. Go forth, my children, and enjoy. <laughs>